consulting companies rejoice because you can once again qualify to help your employee get a STEM extension. Hi, my name is Hassan Abdullah. I'm an immigration attorney from the San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm here to talk about a new positive development uh, that USCIS has come out with. Now, what happened, what this has to do is STEM extensions. It used to be that there was no issue at all if you are a consulting company and you have your candidate working at a client site uh, and that person is on OPT and you apply for a STEM extension, a 24 month STEM extension. And suddenly sometime in 2018, around April or so, late April, uh, or in fact, it was, it was actually late February, but this uh, update in USCIS's website indicated that staffing and temporary agencies may seek to employ students under the STEM OPT, but only if the they will be the entity that provides practical training experience to the student at its own place of business and they have a bona fide employer-employee relationship with the student. And it further added that such entities may not, however, assign or contract out students to work for one of their customers or clients and assign or otherwise delegate their training responsibilities to the customer or client. So USCIS uh, came out with that and it led to a lot of problems. It led to people not getting their STEM OPT extended. They went to the DSO, the designated school official of the university that they might be uh, going to, and the DSO would refuse to sign off uh, in support of their STEM extension because they found that the person was actually going to be working at a client site instead of actually at the employer's site. And it's because of this memo. And, you know, another thing is there's a lot of issues, problems with this. There was no, USCIS had no regulatory authority uh, for, for this so-called no third party placement rule. So, as long as there's an employer-employee relationship, that should be enough. That's what the STEM rule allowed, the STEM extension rule, all it really required. However, you know, there was no f official update, no official memo from USCIS. You know, they didn't go through the proper procedures. They just made an update on their website. And somehow that held so much authority, which it shouldn't have, but it did. And, con you know, the, the universities became compliant to it and uh, for no reason at all honestly but anyhow USCIS has backpedaled and now if you go to this same link to USCIS's webpage about STEM extensions they have reversed course and now they're saying that uh, now they're saying STEM OPT participants may engage in training experience that takes place at a site other than the employer's principal place of business, as long as all the training obligations are met, including the that the employer has and maintains a bona fide employer-employee relationship with the student. Finally, so they've got some sense and they are now allowing you to be working offsite as long as the training that is happening is being provided by the consulting company in this case. So you just need to make an attestation and you need to clearly identify how you're going to continue to provide training and identify uh, the training objectives that the candidate is going to uh, accomplish and keep track of it. So things are seeming to go back to status quo and now universities are hopefully going to wake up and and continue to allow consulting companies to allow their students to uh, get STEM OPT extensions if they're with a consulting company. As long as the consulting company attests that they're going to be doing this training program and you can do it remotely as long as it's being provided by the consulting company. And so things seem to be back to normal. So I just wanted to make that announcement. And uh, if any university is still kind of like, you know, dragging their heels, they should just look no further than the USCIS webpage discussing STEM OPT now. If you just Google search 
optional practical training extension for STEM students, parentheses, STEM OPT. You should get straight to the link and then you go down to the heading of STEM OPT employer re uh, requirements and responsibilities and direct their attention to it. And uh, that should allow them to realize that, okay, well, even if you're a consulting company and the work is going to be happening offsite from the consulting company's home office, as long as the company is complying and, and providing the training, it should be fine. So thanks for listening. Hopefully this is helpful and hopefully it provides some optimism here uh, and it's good news. So let's just see how things go from here. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.